My name is Brad Holland. I'm an otolaryngologist and head and neck surgeon who's practiced in Waco for almost 20 years. I'm serving currently as the Republican Party Chairman for McLennan County, but I speak to you today as a physician and member of the McLennan County Medical Society and uh, an elected leader of the Texas Medical Association. I'm a concerned physician today because like every one of you, I am sick and tired of COVID and this pandemic and am frustrated to the point I could spit that our numbers are once again rising. But I do want to talk with you about the vaccine and to tell you that I am vaccinated and every one of my family members and my kids are vaccinated. Now, like a good many of you, I don't like some of the changes this pandemic has forced upon our society. I don't like many of the actions that governments have had to take to deal with this public health crisis. And I agree very much with many of you who share the concerns of protecting our freedom and liberty as we protect our health now and in the future. But there's one thing about which I'm very certain, and that is that getting vaccinated against COVID-19 is a very good idea. It's a healthy idea. And it's one of the things that really could save your life or save someone in your family. Again, I share the concerns of those of you who are vehemently opposed to mandates and shutdowns and shelter in place orders and other coercions that seem foreign to us. We don't want to have to go back to that. But let me say this, to stay away from that, to avoid that, the best way to do so is to realize that vaccines do work against all strains of the virus, including the Delta variant. And really at this point, because it is here, you have two simple choices, to get vaccinated or to get infected. That's really what it's coming down to for each member of our community. Let me address the two arguments though that I hear in and out throughout my office uh, and throughout the city about why people don't get vaccinated. The first is that the vaccine is experimental, not FDA approved. And yes, while the FDA approval is imminent and should come within the month for at least one of these vaccines, it is currently under emergency use authorization. But here's the thing, no health and safety concerns were cut in developing this vaccine. Only the bureaucratic red tape corners were cut to hasten the development of this vaccine to the public. And that's a key point. Those are the things we've always wanted to get rid of in the first place. The process of testing was rigorous and transparent. And I personally followed it very, very closely. You know, our own Congressman Bill Flores was actually a patient in phase three of the trial himself in the 2020. Uh, now, let me also recall to you Operation Warp Speed. That was a victory, not of this administration, but of the previous administration to hasten the development of the vaccine to an absolutely incredible time frame. And I predict it will be one of the biggest legacy pieces of the previous administration. The second argument I hear is that the government and our healthcare professionals are ignoring the impact of natural immunity. And nothing could be further from the truth. Yes, having COVID does give you more immunity over someone who has never had COVID, but there is excellent scientific proof that even if you've had COVID, you should get the vaccine. And as we've already heard today, the majority of those, vast majority, 97, 98% of those who are dealing with COVID or succumbing to COVID uh, have not had the vaccine. It's protective by and large. Now, I thank God that we do live in a free nation and the decision to get the vaccine is your decision. But please, I urge you, do get the vaccine so that we can end this wave, this pandemic, this perturbation of the great American life that this pandemic has caused, and so that we can all stop debating more government action to help slow its increase. I want to worship in my church. I want to travel far and wide with my family and friends. I want to eat in Waco restaurants. I want to lavish in the liberty that we are so fortunate to enjoy in this nation. And moreover, I want all of you hearing this to be able to do the same. But the simple truth is this, the more of you who choose to get vaccinated, the sooner life will finally return to normal once and for all, for all of us. It truly is that simple. And so, so to those of you who are unvaccinated at this point, let me ask this of you. Won't you please talk to your doctor about your questions, your hesitancy, your concerns, for consider, and consider taking the COVID-19 vaccine today. Uh, do it for God, as we've heard from the pastor. Do it for our great country and for the great state of Texas for McLennan County and frankly, do it for your friends and neighbors. But please, uh, getting vaccinated is truly the patriotic thing to do. Thank you.